Many months ago, I presented to you this verse, Ephesians 1.3. And Ephesians 1, 3, Sabi the Bible, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. We always claim we're blessed. Uh, hindi sinasabi ng Bible, be blessed kayo. Ang sabi ng Bible, blessed na kayo. So kung meron ko dapat i-correct sa mind mo, blessed na ako. Amen? Pag yeah. titignan ang kalagayan mo na ito ay mahirap, wala kang trabaho, wala kang tinikita, because pag doon ka nag-focus, walang mangyari talaga sa mind mo. Pero if you will start believing, Sinabi mo ko si Lord, eh, bless ako. I don't know how you will bless me, pero ngayon, bless ako. Amen. And God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Amen. At tayo. God will make a way. Amen. Hallelujah. God will make a way. Amen. This is one verse na kung meron man akong kabisadong kabisadong verse, ito ang verse na to. Kahit nakapikit ako, may verse yan. Amen. And I love that verse. Amen. At wala pa ako sa grace doon, pinaniniwalaan ko na itong verse na ito. Mas lalo ko na itinian ito nung matitay sa grace. Another verse that I love is taken from the same book, same uh, epistle, epistle of Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 3, verse 17. Ano nakalagay dyan? That Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love. Now, I'd like to present to you two powerful verses na sa umpisa makikita nyo parang magkaiba pero wala silang pagkakaiba meron lang silang gustong ipokus at bigyan natin ng attention look at Ephesians 1.3 meron akong i-highlight in-highlight ko dito nung tinuro ko to yung phrase na in Christ if you can still remember in Christ Amen? at itong phrase na to in Christ is giving me the idea na ako na kay Christo Pag ginagamit yung praise sa in Christ, in whom? In Him. Amen? Ephesians has so many praises na binabagit in Him, in Christ, in whom? At pag ginagamit yung praise yun, in Him, ang ibig sabihin, ikaw, na kay Kristo. The next verse, Ephesians 3.17, is telling us ng opposite. Pero hindi sila magkaiba. Opposite lang. Amen? I highlight ko yung that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. This verse gives me the idea na si Cristo nasa akin. Let me repeat para makita nyo. Yung unang verse, Ephesians 1, 3, ako na kay Cristo. Ano yung pangalawang verse? Si Cristo nasa iyo. If you will learn this and believe this, mga kapatid, I don't see any reason why hindi kayo gagaling. I don't see any reason why you're mahina. I don't see any reason kung bakit ka magiging bobo. I don't see any reason na hindi mo kaya gawin ang lahat ang pinapagawa ng God. Because hindi ka lang nasa Kanya, Siya, nasa iyo. Take note of this. Kaya ako to believing in Senyo because in all honesty, this verse, itong phrases na to, pati itong thought na to, gave me a lot of things changed my life. Again, let me just emphasize very clearly. The first one tells us we are in Christ. The second verse tells us Christ is in us. Amen? Pagbalik-balik tali nyo na yan, bahala na po kayo. Ako, nating Kristo. Kristo, nasa akin. Amen? Let me repeat. Ako, nating Kristo. Kristo, nasa akin. I like that verse. Amen? At uh, I'm so thankful na binigay ito talaga sa akin ng Lord. The first person na binigyan ko ng passage na ito is Jeric Surreal. Kaya sabi ko kay Brother Jeric, Jeric, I'll give you this truth because pwede ko ito i-deliver sa 100 people but you can deliver this to thousands of people. At uh, ngayon, binibigay ko ito sila mga kaibigan ko mga pastor because I knew na nandiri ko yung truth. The truth will set us free. Amen? Now, let me give you proof tungkol doon sa una na tayo na kay Kristo. The first proof ko is found in Ephesians 1.4. Hinighlight ko yung in Him. Take note. Hindi ko na babasahin. My second proof is found in Ephesians 1.7. In Him, we have redemption through His blood. Ginagamit yung in Him ngayon sa level ng mga mana ng palataya. Kaya nga ho, itong mga in Him na to, in whom, refers to the believers. 
Pero ang unang-unang talagang gamit ng in Him, gusto ko ipakita sa inyo, kahit ka unbeliever na kay Kristo. Ay, papaliwanag ko, tumami. The last proof I have is found in Ephesians 1.11. In Him also we have obtained an inheritance. So I gave you three. Actually, I can give you a lot. Pero gusto ko bigyan lang ko kayo ng ilang mga verses na binabanggit ng Bible. Ako, kayo, na kay Kristo. Amen? Now let me give you proof na si Kristo naman nasa atin. Kaya sabi natin kanina, ulitin natin ha, ako, ilagay kay Kristo. Ano yung pangalawa? Si Kristo, ilagay sa akin. Now, I'm in that right now. Si Kristo, ilagay sa atin. Can I have proof? Yes. Galatians 2.20 is the first proof I have. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who lives, but Christ lives in me. So, nasa si Kristo? Nasa iyo. Tama? The second verse is a famous verse na ginawa ko na rin po ito ng topic. The topic, the mystery, is Colossians 1.27 na kalagay, To them, God will to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you. Imagine, ito yung mystery na hindi na alaman ng mga tao nung araw, mga Israelita, chosen people of God, tinago sa kanila, pero today, ngayon, hindi rin lang God. At ano hindi rin lang God? Si Kristo nasa atin. Good news yan. Amen? At kung talaga naitindihan mo ang Christianismo, hindi mo iwawang bahala na si Kristo na sa iyo. That's one of the most important things that ever happens sa life mo. Si Kristo na sa iyo. Amen? Ulit natin ha? Ako, na kay Kristo, Kristo na sa akin. My God. My God. Amen? Ginawa ito ng Lord. Now, para i-prove ko sa inyo, na itong dalawang ito ay magkasama din John 15, 4-5 para masabi ko sa inyo na ikaw na kay Kristo tingin nyo verse 4 Abide in me ikaw mag-abide sa Kanya ikaw na sa Kanya let me go to verse 5 Who abides in me? Ikaw na sa Kanya The same verses conveys also the same idea tingin nyo verse 4 sabi natin ako na sa Kanya ano naman yung siya na sa akin? yun I in you. Let me go to verse 5. Sabi natin kanina, di ba? Who abides in me? I in him. Are you getting this, brethren? Hello? Ang tanong natin ngayon, kung ibinibigay ito, hindi, hindi, hindi tayo nililito ng Bible. Hindi tayo binibigay ng Lord ng contradiction. That might be your question today. Pastor, are they contradictory to one another? My answer is no. My answer is no. Kung hindi sila kumukontra, then ano pwede mo sabihin ngayon? Let me suggest, brethren, I believe in my heart that they speak of powerful words. Amen? Meron itong uh, katotohanan na pag naintindihan ko, ako na may sakit, hindi pwede hindi gagalit. Are you listening? Ako na may hina, hindi pwede hindi lalakas. Ako, na ordinary yung tao, hindi pwede hindi magiging supernatural human being. If I understand ito idea ito. Ako, nasa kanya, siya, nasa. Now let me present sa inyo, brethren, uh, ang ibig sabihin talaga nito. I have three meanings for this phrases. At uh, I hope, I pray, na magbiminister ko sa iyo, Ito ang binanggit ko kanina, wala ka masakit ngayon, one of these days, magkakasakit ka, listen to the tape, let it minister to your heart. Amen? The first meaning, ito, is what I call substitution and identification. I have told you about this many, many times, but I will be repeating it again for your sake, for our sake, and for the sake of the people that need it. Amen? The first one, ulitin ko, substitution. It's a term na ang ibig sabihin ay replacement. Sa Tagalog, ang ibig na ito sabihin kapalit or kahalili. At madalas, para sa atin, na mga Pilipino, familiar tayo sa basketball na isang game na famous dito sa Pilipinas at alam natin kung ano yung term na substitution. A substitution, ibig sabihin, pagod na player, papalitan siya ng another player, ang tawag doon, substitution. Amen? Papalitan ka. Hallelujah. Uh, absent ka sa isang kumpanya. 
at yung trabaho mo, hindi pwedeng uh, mabitin. So somebody has to replace you sa work na yun. Ang tawag natin doon ay substitution. Amen? As far as the Bible is concerned, I and you are all sinners. As far as the Bible is concerned, I at lahat ay lahat judge and condemn. As far as the Bible is concerned, ako, pati kayo lahat, ay tinawag ng Bible, sinners. May proof ka ba, Pastor? Yes. Romans 5, verse 12, nasabi, through Adam's sin, sabi ng Bible, anong pumasok? Kasalanan, pumasok ang kamatayan, at lahat naging makasalanan. Take note, not because of you, kaya ka naging sinner, because of Adam. Through Adam's sin, naging makasalanan tayo. Sabi ng Bible, Romans 5.15, Through Adam's offense, many die. Pinahighlight ng Bible, pinapakita ng Bible, and I would like you to make this clear in your mind, hindi dahil sa kasalanan mo, kaya ka namatay. Kasalanan ng isang tao, kaya ka namatay. Kasalanan ng isang tao, kaya ka sina. Kasalanan ng isang tao, kaya ka ngayon judge. Amen? This is what is mentioned sa Romans 5.16. Through one man's offense, judgment came, resulting in Condemnation. Pagdating sa Romans 5.17, sa pamamagitan ni Adan, pumasok ang kamatayan, naglay na kamatayan, pero sa pamamagitan ni Cristo, pumasok ang life. Pagpasok sa Romans 5.19, through Adam's disobedience, kanina ginamit, through Adam's sin, through Adam's offense, through Adam's disobedience, may isa lang yun, pero binibigyan ng emphasis. Kasalanan niya, kasalanan niya, kasalanan niya, hindi natin kasalanan. Amen? At ano sabi dito? Sa pamamagitan ng kasalanan ni Adan, sin ni Adan, disobedience ni Adan, tayo ay judges. Look at me, please. Let me make it clear. Huwag niyo sisihin ang sarili niyo. Kaya nga, sa, sa, sa langit daw, si Adan daw may sariling bahay. Fully secure. Amen? Fully guarded. Ang daming gwardiya. Dahil lahat ang believers, siya ang sisihin. Papatayin siya ng mga believers kung balik sa langit. Amen? Dahilan sa iyo, kaya kami... Amen? Are you listening? Ano lang yun, ha? Haka-haka uh, lang. Hindi yun. Wala, wala kayo mababasa sa Bible na like, gano'n. Amen? Uh, baka mag-sabihin nyo, Pastor Hazel, pakita mo nga sa akin sa panahabasa ni Patatay. Pastor, Pastor Bertie, sa mana, sa panahabasa. Wala akong gano'n. Amen? Haka-haka lang yun. Now, let me bring you back so, sa pinag-aaralan natin. Kung makikita ni Adan, naging makasalanan tayo. Kung makikita ni Adan, dyan sa tayo. Kung mamagitin na yan, kaya tayo ay sinners. Amen? Let me make it clear. Ito pala yung 519. We're all sinners. We're all judges. We're all deserving to die. Pero, brethren, let me present sa inyo the truth. Hindi kayo namatay. He died for us. Amen? Kung meron man dapat tungkol sa sila elektrika, tayo, pero hindi tayo mupo sila elektrika. Hindi tayo mupo sila elektrika. Kung meron dapat marinin, tayo. Hindi tayo pinatay. Sino na matay? 2,000 years ago, He died on the cross. He paid for all your sins and my sin. Ang tawag ko natin doon, substitution. Amen? Yeah. Tayo sitting pretty. Amen? Gumagawa pa na kalukohan mo. Amen? Uh, marami ka kapal ba lang ginagawa? 2,000 years ago, He died all our sins. Yeah. Uh, Naranas yung may pinapos sa krus? Hindi ah. Naranas siya na ba yung nagupit? Maybe one time ng tatay mo yung nagupit ka. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Pero naranas siya yung may naranas siya ni Christo. Never. Naranas siya yung bang may mga Romanong sundalo na ikaw ay tinatadya ka, sinasampal at tinudurahan. Never! Sino nag-suffer? Jesus. Ano tawag natin doon? Sarasitus. Amen. He paid for all the sins na hindi ko naman ginawa. Ginawa ni Adan. Pero dahil kasi ginawa ni Adan, yun ay inilagay sa akin. Pag tumingin ng God, natingin sa akin makasalanan because of Adam. Pero may ginawa si Cristo. Pag tumingin ng God ngayon, I'm righteous. Amen. How did it happen? Now, listen to me please. Let me bring you now to the second. Hindi lamang substitution ang ginawa. Let me bring you to identification. I love this. Ito ko nakita yung healing. Amen? Hello? Kung hindi identification, hindi ako gagaling. At 
aminin ko sa inyo, sabi ko nga ako sa inyo, I just believe what He did for me. At pagkatapos ko ito paniwalaan, tinanggap ko. Kaya nga naniniwala ako sa totoo lang, lahat na may sumpa sa inyo, at uh, noon, ninahamong ko kayo mga babae, kung kayo pagdating ng monthly period nyo, nahihirapan kayo. Honestly, I'm telling you right now, this will be the world. Wala yan. Hindi yan dapat na sa'yo. If you believe you're blessed, if you believe under grace, He has redeemed you from the cards of the Lord. Dapat wala yan. Lumapag ka. Hello? At kung may lahi ka man, ng lahi ng siraulo, hanggang ngayon, at dito ka siraulo mo. Hindi dapat na sa'yo yan. Are you still with me? Identification. Pasta na ano ibig sabihin na identification? When Jesus died, you died with Him. Hindi niya kamatayan niya, kamatayan niya. Amen? Hello? Bakit si Kristo mamamatay? Wala naman siya kasalanan. Namatay siya para sa iyo. So ngayon kung namatay siya para sa akin, akin yun. Amen? Hello? Hindi niya kailangan, now please take note, it's not just His death, therefore, right now, let me present sa iyo, it is also your death. Merong reason kung bakit siya namatay sa death. Bakit siya namatay sa cross. He has a reason. Bakit siya namatay sa cross? Para yung sin ay mawalan ng power over me. Since namatay siya sa sin at isinama niya ako, sin has no power over me. Isama na natin. Huwag natin kasalanan lang. Pati sumpa, wala ng power over you. Amen. Kung ikaw, sabihin natin, nag-asawa one day at sa pag-aasawa mo, magkakaanak ka at nahihirapan ka, I'm telling you right now, just put your faith in the Word of God, hindi ka dapat nahihirapan ng mga anak. Natatandaan niyo na sinong pa si Eva, mahihirapan ka sa mga anak. O paano ba dapat mga anak si Eva ng araw? O si Eva tatayo lang. O, alam mo sa ayan. Amen. Huwag ka, kahihirap-hirap. Hello. Pero ngayon, a lot of ladies is suffering from dysmenorrhea. And a lot of you is suffering pagka kayo nag naglihip. Natatandaan nyo, maglihik kayo. My wife was one of that. Hindi namin alam kasi yung truth. Seven months, nine months, bed rest, hindi pwede tumayo. Pag tumayo ang wife ko, wala naglag yung baby. So natatanda ako kay Tim, alam ko kung di ako nagkakamali seven months. Kay Grace, nine months. Mas malala ito. Parang gano'n, ano? Balik na ba? Asik, ha? Malala pala si Tim. So, si Tim, ano? Nine months. Wala ka na magbuntis ang wife ko. Hindi ko tumatayo ang wife ko. Nasa kama lang yan. Umuwi ako ng tangali, nagpapalam ako sa boss ko para pakanik ko lang siya. Hindi siya pwede tumayo. Pag tumayo siya, malalagpag yung baby. That's how serious he was. Later namin na-discover, pinanganak na namin dalawa na. Kung nalaman lang namin noon, hindi dapat nangyari. Amen. Na-redeem na tayo sa curse of the law. Every month, my wife. Uh, Andy, di ba? Hirap na hirap ang ate mo. Every month sa kanya. Ngayon, wala na akong siya problema. May na-post eh. <laughs> <laughs> But before it happens sa kanyang life, naranasan lang ng wife ko, hindi na siya nakahirap. Ladies, listen to me. You are redeemed from the curse of the law. You should not be suffering from this. Kung nagsasapre kayo doon, kailangan nyo siguro word of God, word of God, word of God. At kailangan mag-meditate ka, focus mo. Wala ka na. Amen. Wala ka na. Next month, tumayo ka. Kung hindi ko makatek, tumayo ka. Hindi re-review kita. Ah, uh, hindi kita pinapintinutan all of his body. Because Jesus is in me and I am in Jesus. No more! Amen? Pero kung may ihiga, ang hirap-hirap ako. My God, you accepted the curse in your life. It should not happen to you. Because ako, nakikristo si Christo lang sa akin. Wala akong menstruation. <laughs> Are you listening to this? Brethren, I'm presenting to you the truth. I'm presenting to you the gospel. I'm presenting to you what Jesus provides for all of us. Hindi ka lang niya sinay para ikaw ngayon ay born again. Nandito siya para lahat ang jumpa sa life mo mawala. But his skin problem left me. Because I claim that. Because kasama yung skin problem sa jumpa. Sabi ang Bible, di ba? Basahin nyo. Pati bukol. Dapat wala kayong bukol. Amen? Hello? Hi. 
Kaya kung meron mga didiscover yung doktor na bukol, sabihin sa bukol dito, ito rin may 28, oo, under law, under grades, ako wala na yan. Hello? Rebat ka sa katabi ko right now. Are you here? Hi. I discovered na sabi ko nga ako sa inyo, this is a message God has given me. I'm taking it and believing it. Hanggang mamatay ako paninila. And as far as you are all or we are concerned, nakita ko talaga healing ang itinan. Amen? This is the reason why I'm bold. Bakit yan ang pagkabold, Pastor? Eh kasi hindi ko lang ito natutunan. Pinaniwala ako ito. Nangyari ko talaga ito. I'm claiming it. I'm believing it. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, hanggang kailan, Pastor? Hanggang mamatay ako paninila. Tatayo ako. Amen? So, the first one, substitution. The second, I identification. Therefore, hindi lamang siya ang pumanik sa langit, ikaw din ay pumanik. And I have given you the meaning of this noon. Bakit ka iniangat? Hindi ka na under the law of nature. Like I say, what's in the spirit ka, even the law of nature, wala yan. Hindi lamang mo dyan tumigil si Cristo. Cristo was also seated at the right hand. Hindi lamang si Cristo na obus ka ng blue ka ng God. You also are seated. What does it mean, Pastor Power and Authority? Okay, hindi ko siya sabi, hindi na tayo magkakaroon ng bukol, pero pa nagkaroon ng bukol, use the power and authority God has given you. Amen. Hello? May problem yung dalawa natin kapatid sa puso? Then command your heart. I command you in the name of Jesus' heart, may butas ka, matatapang ka, nang hindi ako ma-apek. Ingat din kayo sa prayer. Kaya kasi nag-pray ako nung buba ka. Amen? Sugar, baba! Buba nga talaga. Amuti mo matay tao. Amen? Hello? At kung sabihin natin kayo dyan, may bara, ay command you bara right now in the name of Jesus. Mawala ka. Amen? Not unless you believe this. You have to believe this. Because the Bible declared when He was seated, I too am seated with Him. Amen? Kung may problema kayo sa pamilya, ano gagawin nyo? Iiyak? I don't, uh, uh, brethren, don't cry. Use the power and authority that is given. Let me present sa inyo. Is the Son of God, yes, so are you. John 1, 12. Si Jesus, tagapagmana, so are you. Romans 8, 17, tagapagmana. Si Jesus, anointed, so are we. Anointed. Si Jesus died to sin, so did we. Let me also present sa inyo, He rose from the grave, so did we. And He is seated at the right hand, so are we. That's who we are. Amen? That's who we are. Ulitin ko yung sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, hindi ko sinasabi hindi ako nagkakasakit. Actually, today I'm weak. But I claim the strength of the Lord to be with me. Amen? At hindi ko sabihin sa inyo, wala akong sakit na yun. May sakit ako. But hindi ko pinapitulod na yung sakit para hindi ako magtulog sa inyo. I will stand against it. Amen? And I know God will be with me. It's my anointing. Amen? Hello? At alam mo ni Hazel, alam mo ba ito nawa? Kapo nun, wala talaga yun. Hindi ako, hindi ako, hindi ako, kapo. At nawa wala yun. There was a day nawa wala. No, no, no. I'll never allow it. Any sickness, I will never allow na mag-rule over my body because I am in Christ. Christ is in me. Never ko naging prinsipyo na sakit ng ulo, I will never go to church. No, no, no. Hindi ko naging prinsipyo na pastor, masakit yung iyong tiyan. Maliban lang nasa ospital ako. Alam naman ninyo nung mga nakala nasa ospital ako. But I will never allow that. Nagihilo? No, I'll be in the church. Masakit ang ulo? No, no, no. I will never allow that. Masakit ang tiyan? No, 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 no. Because I rule over them. Never allow them to rule over you. Because you're already redeemed from God's will. Nagdeklaro kami. Sabi namin, Aisel, di ba? Galing Dubai. Kagaling Dubai, imagine nyo, akala ko kasi, uuwi kami ng Tuesday. Meron kami rest on Wednesday, Thursday, flight to Dabao. Dumating kami, Wednesday, tanghali tapat. Nag-declare kami. I declared to my wife, I declared to Hazel, No! Get up! 
I command you, no jet lag. No jet lag. You have to command. Amen. Don't accept the law of nature. You're beyond that. Amen. At sabi ko no, I will never allow it again to happen in my life. Amen po ba? I discovered I am in Christ. Christ is in me. God has given you authority and power. The second meaning that we present this thing is one with Him. 1 Corinthians 6, 17 that He who is joined to the Lord is one spirit with Him. Nung madiscovery ko ito, alam niyo kung meron man day na lulundag ako, walang iba ko dito, day na ito. Masaya na ako doon sa first one, substitution and identification. Pero nadiscovery ko ito para ako lumulutan sa alapara. Alam niyo bakit? Nalaman ko na ako may dead spirit at yung dead spirit ko binuhay niya. At yung binuhay niya yung dead spirit ko, that's Ephesians 2.1. You were dead, now we made alive. So yung dead spirit ko binuhay niya. Pangalawa, sabi sa Ezekiel 36.26, I have given you a new spirit. So, yung dead spirit ko na binuhay niya, bigla na lang nabago. Amen? Nabago. Dahil sabi niya, ayaw niya na yung dead spirit mo na contaminated by your soul, contaminated by your mind and your emotions, ay nandun pa, pinalitan niya. Hello? So your spirit na dati patay, na makakilala ka na buhay, hindi na yan yung dead spirit mo. Iba na yan. Ang maganda pa, dito ako lumunda, nalaman ko na yung spirit ko na patay, binuhay, pinalitan, isa lang sa Holy Spirit. My God, napatalon mo ako talaga sa buhay. Na malaman ko yung spirit ko is no longer my spirit. My spirit is the Holy Spirit. Hello! Hi! My God! Come on! Ay ko tinay na hiniwala, pray niya. But He who is joined to the Lord, are you joined to the Lord? Yes! It's one spirit with Him. Kaya pala, binanggit ng first John, He who is born of God does not sin. Because yung Spirit mo, nandun na yung Holy Spirit, hindi mo na pwede pag-iulayin. Hindi na. Amen? At patawad po nyo, ha? Galing tayo sa eternal security. And we came to that point. Nalulus pala sa vision. Na kung maintindihan na ito, hindi pala nalulus sa salvation. Hello? You never lose your salvation. Amen? At kung talagang ikaw ay isa lang sa kanya, let me present sa inyo a marriage proposal. At ito dapat nangyayari sa marriage. What is mine is yours. Whatever is yours is Amen. Ako naniniwala ko na itindi ng true believer ko. No relation niya kay God. Lord, whatever is mine is yours. And whatever is yours is mine. Amen. Hello. Hi. Amen. Uh, with this presentation, hindi ko ho, binawalang bahala magiging Christian ako. But I discovered all this. Lalo ko pinahalagaan magiging Christian. At lalo ko na-appreciate yung aking pagiging ko ito. At uh, nasa iyo na yan, kikita ko na your life right now is so precious. At ginawa niyang grabe ang life. Kaya ako sa aming family, my family, that's the reason why our priority is God and the ministry. I raise up my kid, priority to, anak. I told them, they know that. Why? Because right now, hindi na ito akin. <laughs> my wife knows that. My children knows that. Priority ko God. At never gina pwede maliin yan. Hindi pwede maliin yan. I love my God and the reason I love my God because I discovered how much He loved me. Amen? You know what I'm saying in the Bible? At doon pala makikita sa tao kung gaano kamahal sa kanila ang relationship kay God. How they respond to that. So sorry, if that is how we deal with our life. So yun yung kasi nasa life time. Amen? Let me present to you the last how you and I get healed. I call it the exchange. That's the reason why I title lang my message. I, the exchange. Let me show you 
a silhouette of Jesus and a silhouette of you or me or us. Si Jesus became man, he took the form of a man, you know that, I know that, but today you and I become the Son of God. What do you call that? Exchange. Amen? I have a title of message called The Exchange. Amen? This is a very simple illustration, but it's written in the Bible. Now you tao, when we accepted Jesus, become the Son of God. Jesus, the Son of God, became man. Para tayong tao, became Son of God. He did it for us. Amen? Si Jesus, the righteous, became sinner, para ikaw na sinner, and become righteous. Amen? Hello? It's in the Bible. It's Corinthians. So today, hindi na tayo tinatawag na sinner. Ano tawag sa atin? Righteous. Amen? Let me present to you the third one. So Jesus the healthy became sick. Na ikaw ang tao na may karamdaman now becomes healthy. Nag-plasso ito sa akin. At sinalis ako ng Lord. Kinuha ko na sakit mo. Bakit mo ba kinikere yan? That was a revelation sa akin. Amen? Two days ago, I was watching uh, yung ke Eddie Villanueva at binanggit ng pastor, si Pastor Bobot at isa ko sa right hand man, ni Eddie Villanueva natinig ko na ito, tinuro ko na ito at yung again mention, sabi niya Jesus has 39 lashes na it can work at according to medical uh, practitioners ang lahat daw ng sakit ng tao galing sa 39 diseases Hello? Kahit ano sakit mo, galing sa isang 39. Kahit ano sakit, name it! Galing sa 39 lang. At sabi niya, si Jesus may 39 lashes. Meaning lahat ang sakit niyo. You know, the Christ. There's no reason for you to be healed. You're right title for healing. Because ginawa niya lahat ang sakit mo. At kung ginawa niya ang sakit niyo, mo, ginawa niya ang sakit ko, you don't need to carry it. You're healed. If you can believe it. Amen. So today, huwag mong paniwalaan. Hindi ko sinasabing huwag na kayo mag-take ng medication. No, 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 no. Hindi ko tayo ganun. Pag sinabi ng doktor, mag-take ng medication, take medication. Pero never allow that sickness to rule over you. You have to declare something against it. No weapon form against me shall prosper. Ito sakit na ito, hindi ako nag-ibubupo sa bahay. Hindi ito magiging dahilan para hindi ako magsima. No, 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 no. Sickness, I command you right now. Rise up! Wait tayo. Amen? Lakad! Lakad ka. Amen? Please take note. Are you listening? Yes. Don't ever allow it to rule over your body. Si Jesus, the strong, took your weaknesses para ikaw ngayon na weak can now become strong. Si Jesus, the spiritual, became physical para ikaw physical can now become spiritual. Are you getting this, brethren? Yes. I hope this is helping you. Si Jesus, the blessed, became first. Ano ikaw ngayon na curse? Ang dami. Hindi ko alam kung sa lahi mo, galing yan. Ngayon, hindi ka na curse. You're now. That's the reason I'm telling you. Fight! Amen? A good fight of faith. Let me conclude my topic. You are in Christ. Look at me, please. I love this. God gave me this simple revelation. Ako na kay Christo. Lahat ang pangit ko, lahat ang kasalanan ko, papalpakan ko, kinuha niya. Lumipat sa kanya. All my, sabihin po natin, mga weaknesses, my sicknesses, lumipat sa kanya, kinuha niya. Nagpapako siya sa krus para bayaran niya, para hindi na kayo magsapar. Ang pinakamaganda, hindi doon siya natapos. Si Kristo, nasa iyo. Ulitin natin ha. Ako, na kay Kristo, Ano ibig sabihin nun? Lahat ang pangit mo kinuha niya. Tapos si Kristo, nasa iyo! Lahat ng maganda sa kanya, nilipat sa iyo. Amen! Wala namang pangit. Come on! My God! Woo! Hallelujah! Wala namang pangit sa kanya. Everything he has, you have. Everything He has, everything He is, so you are. Sinabi ng Bible is anointed, you're anointed. 
Haleluya. Ang ganda ng exchange na ginawa niya. Brethren, I'm telling you right now, consenting sa inyo, if you're sick, you're entitled for you. If you will get sick one of these days, hold on to His word. Amen. Taro sa doktor, check up ka, patingin ka, kala laboratory, pa laboratory, kala may confine ka, not unless the Lord will tell you the hospital. Please, your life is at stake. Amen. Pag nakadinig ka, huwag ka magpa-hospital, huwag ka pa-hospital. Pero pag hindi ka nakakadinig, I'm telling you right now, go to the doctor, take your medication, magpa-hospital ka, and believe that God is your healer. Amen? At kung nasa hospital ka, katulad na nangyari sa akin, nagpa-hospital ako, na hindi na ako to be operated, dumati ang doktor, sabi ng doktor, Pastor, binay sa kaya, nasira yung machine. Op, 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 message kay God yun, no operation, hindi ako na-operan, and today, wala na yung sakit ko yun. Are you still here? Kanina, bago ko lumabas dito, nag-take ako ng medication. I need it. But I still believe my God is my healer. Hindi pa kayo nagkakasakit, magaling na kayo. Amen. At lahat na kahirapan nyo, hindi na kayo dapat maghirap, kinuha niya na. Ang gusto ng God ngayon, mag-enjoy tayo sa life. Are you enjoying your life? Thank you tayo lahat. Let's come to the Lord in prayer. Amen. Is He good? Very, very good. Amen. I don't think na hindi nyo mamahalin ang God sa ginawa niya. In return, I do believe God will definitely give you strength. Amen. Sabi ng Bible, everything you need are already given. Listen to me please. Everything you need are already given. It's only a matter of what you believe. If you believe that dahil kasi tao ka at normal ang mangyari sa'yo, hihina ang katawa mo as you grow old, so be it because that's your faith. But if you believe na ikaw ay anak ng Diyos and it took all your sicknesses and it will never happen to you, so be it according to what you believe. Always sa healing anointing ni Jesus, sinasabi niya, according to your faith. According to your faith. As far as the Bible is concerned, sa kailan lagay faith was the word niya. Because His words are true. And they are powerful. Dear Heavenly Father, this morning, pagkatapos namin matinig ang salita mo, wala kami ibang dapat gawin kundi tanggapin namin ang declaration mo. Lord, namatay ka para sa amin and we all know that you died for all our sins and mula nung araw na yun Lord 2,000 years ago lahat na kasalanan aming gagawin as far as your Bible is concerned binayaran mo na hindi pa man namin ginagawa yung kasalanan bayat na at hindi lamang yun Lord on that day that you died you took all our impurities Father God, Ikaw ay hinagupit, Ikaw ay nasugatan. Kineri mo lahat ang aming mga karandangan. And our Bible clearly tells us that by Your strife, we were all here. Lord, with that truth, walang karandangan na hindi kami pwedeng gumaling. Hindi namin, Lord, sinasabi hindi na kami magkakaroon ng karandangan. Unless, bigyan mo kami ng revelation, hindi kami magkakaroon ng karandangan. But Father God, whatever sickness may come, sakit man ito sa puso, sakit man ito, Father God, sa blood, sakit man ito sa bones, may bukol man sa aming katawan, or one day, may makikita ang doktor na cancer. We know, Lord, that you died for it already. And because, Lord, you died for it, we now can receive your healing into this body. Lord, I declare healing sa aking mga kapatid na nandiri pa ngayon. I pronounce life sa kanila. I rebuke the spirit of death that is working in their body. I declare, Father God, na wala silang room to reign over the body of your people. Because, Father God, ikaw mismo nagsabi, kami nasa iyo, ikaw nasa amin. And so, Father God, right now, we have the divine help that is coming from you. I declare, Lord, and I pronounce, Father God, today, null and void ang ginagawa ng kalaban. With any sicknesses, 
na kanyang tinanim sa aking mga kapatid today, I come against it in the name of Jesus at sinasabi namin Lord right now with agreement with unity in faith right now that it is null and void and Father God we pronounce healing we pronounce life even Father God sa mga may sumpa na nararal na sa parent Father God we declare Father God today wala na silang kapangirihan whatever it is that they have inherited Father God sa kanilang ninuno or anumang any kind ng curse that is in the body ng mga babae na nandito ngayon pati ng mga lalaki dinedeclare namin na reboy we pronounce with our lips Lord right now we are redeemed from the curse of the law we are redeemed from the curse of the law redeemed from the curse of the law and thank you Lord like I said Lord hindi mo naman binigay ang word mo para lang magbigay sa amin ang hope You've given us your word because your word is you. And it is true. At alam namin, Lord, walang kweta ito hanggang di kami naniniwala sa word mo. And so we declare your word right now ng may pananampalataya. And I bless your people, Lord, this morning. I believe, Lord, my God, na mula sa araw na ito, you'll never, never leave them nor forsake them. At salamat, Lord. Dahil kasi ikaw ay patuloy na magbe-bless sa bawat isa. Yes, we believe we're blessed. There will be more blessings to come in the next days to come. Oh, we give you praise and we give you honor. We have like Namidor Papuri say. In Jesus' name, we pray. As people say, Amen. Amen.